Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Alyssa. I am a 24 year old first time mom and my son Reese is almost four months old. And today we are talking about comparable baby products to really popular baby items. Now, if you're like me, you like baby products that look nice, function well, and overall just kind of make your life easier, especially transitioning as a first time mom into the whole role of motherhood. Oftentimes, those types of products are associated with higher price tags. And so I have kind of conducted a list of a bunch of popular baby products and similar ones that have the same purpose and look very similar, but oftentimes are a lot less expensive. If you haven't seen my part one to this series, I'll link it in the cards above. I talk about a bunch of other popular baby products, but you don't need to have seen part one in order to stick around for part two. So let's get right into it. My first baby product is the Hatch Rest Sound Machine. This retails for right about $70. And this is a sound machine mixed with a nightlight, mixed with a time to rise alarm. It's really, really popular. A lot of people like it for a bunch of different functions. But the main thing I think that is really appealing to a lot of people is the fact that you can control it right from the app on your phone. And so you don't always have to go into your child's bedroom if they're asleep or whatnot to make adjustments and to switch things up. It also has the options where you can set pre-programmed sounds and times for when you want it to turn on, when you want different lights to turn on. So it has a bunch of different features and a bunch of different options. A comparable item to the hatch is the Eva Life Sound Machine. It's right around $39. It is a nightlight. It is a sound machine. It has a digital clock built right into it. It has a time to rise alarm and it also has the app function as well. So it is almost half the price, but you get the clock added, which is something you would have to pay for to get the Hatch Rest Plus and the Hatch lineup, and that's right around $90. Now myself, I have the Hatch Rest Mini. It's a tier below the one that we're talking about because I didn't necessarily need the nightlight or the time to rise function, but it ended up actually being on my newborn regrets. I wish I had actually gone with the Hatch or the Eva Life because I do not enjoy my Hatch Rest Mini in the way that I wanted to use it. So check out my newborn regrets above if you kind of want to get a more depth review of why I chose certain products and why I didn't end up liking them. My next baby product is the Solly Baby Wrap. This retails for right around $76. It's made out of a modal fabric, so it's super buttery, soft, and lightweight. It's designed for babies, newborn, up to 25 pounds. And the really great thing about baby wearing is it promotes bonding, it allows you to be hands-free, and the great thing about a wrap style carrier is the fact that you can go ahead and you can take the baby out if they're napping, let's say, and you can still continue to wear that carrier because it's so lightweight. You don't have to take it on and fully take it off like you might with a structured carrier, so definitely one benefit of getting a wrap style. A comparable baby item to this is a Sweet Bee Baby Wrap. This one is $22, so significantly less expensive. Again, it's made out of the modal fabric, so it's nice and buttery soft. This one's designed for newborns up until 30 pounds, so five more pounds than the Solly Baby Wrap. I will say the Solly Baby Wraps do typically have more color options, but when you go with the Sweet Bee, you can still find pretty basic neutral colors, you know, black, pink, blue, what have you. But Solly Baby does have a more extensive list of options, but it's just a matter of do you want to pay more for the color? That's kind of, I feel like, how you would decide between the two. My next baby product I feel like is super common. You always see popular mom YouTubers doing sponsorship for them. It is the Newton Crib Baby Mattress. It is a $300 crib mattress, but it is 100% breathable and 100% washable. So it's really cool in the sense if you're someone that really worries about SIDS, you do have that option and that peace of mind that if your baby does roll over, they can put their face right up to the mattress and breathe through. You can unzip the cover of the mattress and just throw it in the washing machine. And then the core itself can actually just be sprayed down right in the shower if you ever have any accidents in the crib. Now for me, when I was looking for baby products, I actually considered getting the Newton baby crib mattress. I had it on my registry. First time mom, I definitely was really worried about SIDS. I ended up finding a dupe and this is the mattress Reese actually has in his nursery. It is called the Dream On Me 2-in-1 Breathable Mattress. It's right around $70 and it is amazing. 
One side of it is completely breathable, similar to that material that you will see on the Newton Crib mattress. I was able to push my face up to it and breathe completely fine. So that is the infant side of it. And then once Reese gets a little bit older and we start navigating potty training where there could be some nighttime accidents, you can flip the mattress over and the other side is a nice wipeable material. So it can't be sprayed in the shower per se where the convenience of the Newton might be, but you can always just spot clean it and it'll work just fine. And I think that it gives me so much peace of mind. Reese has been sleeping in his nursery in his crib since he was seven weeks old all through the night. And so it was definitely an adjustment for me to kind of get used to not having him right next to me in the bassinet. And the mattress definitely made me feel better about it. We put a muslin sheet right on top, which is a breathable fabric. We got ours some mushy, but definitely recommend this mattress if you're someone that is having a little bit of anxiety about choosing which mattress and how to go for it and you can't budget for the Newton, definitely check out the Dream On Me mattress. The next popular baby item is the Willow Breast Pump. Now this is a $500 breast pump and I personally would have loved to have chosen this if it was in our budget, but it definitely just wasn't in our budget, unfortunately. But it is super popular because of the fact that it is an in-bra breast pump. So you don't have any dangling cords. You can walk around with it. You can hold your child. You can do whatever you want because it sits right in your bra. You can pump directly into their breast milk storage bags or you can pump into the reusable containers. There is an app that you can use right with it, which is pretty sweet. It tracks how long you were pumping for and also is able to determine the volume amount of milk that you've pumped. It can last up to five pumping sessions on one charge. So for a lot of moms, unless you have a brand new newborn, that's a pretty much like almost full day, three fourths of a day right on one charge. A comparable option to the Willow is called Mom Cozy. It's also an in bra breast pump. It's definitely not as subtle looking as the Willow where they kind of promote, you can wear this breast pump and nobody will be able to tell you're wearing it. The Mom Cozy definitely sticks out a little bit more, but again, it is a hands-free breast pump that goes right into your bra. No cords needed, no cords dangling. It does have an LCD screen right on the actual pump so you can pump and you can just read right off of that to input it into one of your apps that you use to track your breast milk and how long you were feeding for. If you're interested in an app, we use the Huckleberry app. I rave about it in my newborn essentials. It is my number one newborn essential. It is so amazing. Definitely check it out. It doesn't have the option to pump directly into the breast milk storage bags where you could with the Willow, but you can still just pump into the breast milk reusable container and then just dump it into your pre-bought breast milk storage bag. So not as simple and easy, an extra step, but 500 compared to 140, it's definitely a good bit of savings for that little bit of work. My next baby product is the Baby Bjorn Bouncer. Now I actually had this one on my registry as well. These range from 200 to $250, depending on which style and which material you choose to get. It's very minimal looking. It's very aesthetically pleasing, which I think is a lot of the draw for a lot of people. It does have the option to fold completely flat for storage. It has three different recline positions. It's super portable and super lightweight because there's no extra clunkiness attached to it. It just really is just the bouncer. If you did want to add a toy bar to it, you do have to buy it separately and that's $60. And if you want a carrying bag to move it, maybe if, say you're going to your parents' house and you want to bring the bouncer with you, an extra $40. So we're well over $300 or right around that range for the bouncer all in. A comparable item to this is the Baby Delight Alpine Deluxe Bouncer. This is $100. I think right now on Amazon it's on sale for right around 80, but typically around $100. So you're saving a huge chunk of money. It does include a toy bar and it does include a carry bag, whereas we weren't getting that with the Baby Bjorn. It does fold flat. It also has a three position recline and it's also portable and lightweight. So if you don't necessarily need the Baby Bjorn brand, you'll get everything and then some at a way less expensive price if you choose to go with the Alpine Deluxe. My next baby product is the Baby Leto Hudson Crib. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know what the hype is about this crib. I think people just like the aesthetic because it's branded as very modern, but I feel like so many people have it and it's like, it just looks like a normal crib to me. But it's $500. I will say it is a convertible crib, so you will get your use out of it. It is a crib and then it transforms into a toddler bed. They do say that there are no screws or hardware showing, so it really accomplishes that minimal, sleek, modern look that a lot of people like. 
but it's $500. A really good dupe option to this is the Delta Children Ava Crib. This one is $320 and again, it's convertible as well. It has a bunch of different colors, but it does have that standard white color that I feel like you see in a lot of people's nursery tours. If you haven't seen a nursery tour, check out mine for Reese's above. The next baby product is the Stokey Trip Trap High Chair. This is super popular amongst moms that promote like Montessori type independence with their children. I will say you can use it from I think six months up until the rest of their life because it is an interchangeable type of high chair. You can manually adjust the seat and the footrest depending on the height of your child. It allows them to eat right at the table with you because Montessori is all about being inclusive of your children and having them be independent. It is pretty pricey as far as a high chair goes. It's right around $300. They do have a bunch of different styles depending on what you like for the look but it's pricey. A good dupe to this is the Abbey Beyond Wooden High Chair. I saw this right on Amazon. It is $200, so you are saving $100. Again, a little bit pricey for high chairs, but hey, $100 is $100. It has the same type of thing where you can adjust the seat and you can adjust the footrest and you can push the child right up to the table. This one does include the nice plastic tray with dishwasher safe and wipeable. So it does have a similar look, but a little bit less expensive. My next favorite product is the Owlet Dream Sock. This one is right around $300. Again, something I was gonna consider buying for Reese as a first time mom. I already said I worried about SIDS and him not breathing. And so the Dream Sock basically tracks your baby's sleep trends, heart rate, oxygen levels, hours slept, and overall sleep quality. It is able to connect right to their app on your phone so you can see it right there in real time. Now don't let the Dream Sock confuse you with their Smart Sock. Just in case you don't know the difference, Owlet had multiple generations of a smart sock. And that was a little sock that hooked right onto your baby's foot when they went to sleep and it tracked their oxygen and it tracked their heart rate right to the app on your phone. Now, if one of those levels dropped out of the preset values and let's say the heart rate dropped, it would send a notification to your phone and you could go check on your baby and people had so many different stories of how it saved their child's life. They ended up removing the smart sock from the market because they were looking to get FDA approval and then they came out with the Dream Sock as an alternative. It still tracks your baby's heart rate and oxygen level, but it's not going to notify you with an alarm if it drops out of those preset values. Because the Dream Sock doesn't notify you if the heart rate or the oxygen levels go out of range, I chose not to get the Dream Sock. Personally, I didn't really care about them tracking the baby's sleep quality because Reese was being an excellent sleeper from the beginning. And so I just cared about, are you gonna save my baby's life? And when it took away that option, it just wasn't for me. So if that's an issue you ran into when you're like, I need an alternative because the Dream Sock's not gonna notify me, a good alternative to this issue that I was kind of facing is the SenseU Breathing Monitor 3. This one is $200. Again, it's not an essential for babies, but it is $100 cheaper than the Dream Sock. It's able to track your baby's breathing, your baby's temperature, and it allows you to know if they have rolled over from their back to their stomach. It clips right onto their diaper, and if it notices shallow breathing or it notices that there's pressure now from being on their stomach, it'll send you that alarm to your phone. So it will notify you of those things. It doesn't necessarily track the oxygen and the heart rate, but shallow breathing typically is a good indicator of that. And so you can go check on your baby, whereas the Dream Sock, you wouldn't have gotten a notification whatsoever. My last baby product is the Four Moms Play Yard Breeze Go. I actually ended up getting mine off of Facebook Marketplace. Make sure you're checking Facebook Marketplace. People sell mint condition things at crazy low prices all the time. And so I have gotten his Mamaru, his Play Center, his Play Pen, so many different things off of Facebook Marketplace in like new condition at a fraction of the price. So make sure you're checking Facebook Marketplace if you're looking on ways to save. People sell brand new things all the time. But if you're someone that likes to buy things brand new, that's cool. It retails for right around $230. I will say 4Moms has got it down pat with how easy they do make their open and close of their play pens. You can just push down and the entire thing opens up and you can just pull the handle and you can go ahead and close it. They always talk about being able to do it with a child and I can speak to that. I have held Reese and opened and closed it and it has worked beautifully. However, 
I think one area where four moms really fall short is their weight of their product and how bulky it is to carry. Their play pens are right around 23, almost 25 pounds to carry. And like, that doesn't sound like a lot, but it is a lot when you're carrying a diaper bag and you have your baby and you have, you have a bunch of different things in your hand. And it's also very rectangular and long. So it's awkward to carry. And so we go to my sister's house all the time. We go to my parents' house all the time. And so I would just dread having to take it in and out of the car and carrying it. Like it was heavy and it was awkward to carry. And I was like, oh man, we have to get the play pen again. So I bit the bullet and I looked for alternatives and I ended up finding one and I will tell every parent if they're ever looking for a play pen, this is the play pen to get. Look no further, click the links in the description below and go add it to your cart. It is the best play pen ever. It is by the brand Baby Joy. I got it right off of Amazon. I got mine on sale for $99, but right now it's about 120. It comes in light gray and dark gray and it is the best thing ever. It is around 10 pounds, so it is like a feather to carry. It is square and it is thin, so it's way easier to carry as opposed to the thick rectangular shape of the four moms. It does have a really comfortable mattress in there. I think a more comfortable mattress than standard play pens. It's completely washable. You can unzip the entire mesh side and just throw it into the wash machine. You can unzip the mattress as well. It's amazing. It's not identical to how you set up the four moms, but I think in my opinion, it's just as easy. If you've ever had to set up like a Graco one and you're like clipping sides together and snapping into place, like it's, it's crazy. It's really hard to do and almost impossible to do with, with a baby in one hand. And so with this one, whereas four moms, you just push in the center and pulled up. This one has four legs on the outside. So it's folded and all you have to do is click 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 it's so easy to do you can do it right with the baby in your hand go get the baby joy play pen i promise you you will not be disappointed it also has the feature where you can unzip the side of it and so when your child gets a little bit older they can kind of go in and out of the play pen as they wish and so you're not having to pick them up and take them out if you don't want to all right guys that about does it for today's video i hope this was helpful if you're looking for some popular baby products at an affordable option as always please make sure to like and subscribe it really does help my channel make sure you hit that bell notification so you do get notified when I post and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!